Good morning, good morning. Oh no, my camera's broken. Oh no. Don't start that. It's broken. I can't see what I'm filming. Did you drop it? Yeah, I dropped it the other day. Oh, that's so annoying. Take a look at it. It's doing that thing where it flips between the right way up and mm -hmm. upside down. Oh no, that's just not what you want. That is not what you want at the start of a vlog. You might just need to like use some tape. <laughs> I've just done the worst job at just sellotaping my camera back together. I've also got sellotape all in my mouth. Double vlog this week. Kind of been inspired by Zoe vlogging a bunch, but then also we were chatting the other night about what is the most asked question that we get on social. And there's one thing that stands out that I don't feel like we've ever probably, like, properly answered, mm -hmm. which is, I'm coming to Brighton, what shall I do, where shall I go? What shall I eat, what shall I drink? What's the best spots? I think it's because it feels like such a big question to answer. Yeah. Because, I mean, I'm a huge fan of Brighton, that's why I moved here. But I did fall in love with Brighton as a city because it had so many amazing independent shops and like independent like food places and drink places. And it's, although it's a city, it's like quite, it feels quite small. And it feels like, like half a city because it's like up against the sea. So yeah. I feel like a normal city would be like this, but Brighton's like that because of the sea. Yeah. In my head, it's like... And I smaller. do feel, I do feel like if we were to dedicate just one video to everything oh. we were going to recommend, it would be so long that and it we'd would... we'd have to eat so much food. It would take us like a year to film it, yeah. I feel like. <laughs> so, we've whittled things down and in this vlog today, I'm going to take you to my five favourite, like grab a bite to eat slash grab a coffee in just the North Lanes which if you've been to Brighton, you'll know the North Lanes is like the home, the hub of independent little shops, coffee shops. I think it's my favorite Places. Part. Yeah, when people think of Brighton, they either think of the beach or the North Lanes. Oh, I've made like a little list on my phone. Oh, you have? Yeah. Okay, and then on, on Zoe's mine... channel, the same day that this goes up, I'll leave a link down below, Zoe is filming. I don't know yet what my... <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were doing your five you're favorite. Doing... Just general shops, as in like buying well, I was things, do not snacks, food. But you just said grabbing a bite to eat, and I was like, "But well, oh, I can't do five favorite restaurants." Well, no, I. And then film I it all, you unless you want to just like go on an absolute feast. <laughs> no, I'll do like cute shops and like um, sweet treats. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and yeah. you do like lunch, yeah. lunch, grab and go lunch and coffees. And then South Lanes, we should do another video. That's like really cute vintagey jewelry shops slash different good coffee spots and food spots. Yeah, Lovely we should restaurants. do North and South. Although South is not too I feel like we need to, South. I feel like we need to do restaurants as well one day. Yeah, basically guys, or if you like spots. this, if you like yeah. this style of video, we have no idea We want to keep it within a vlog like. as well. It's still going to be vloggy style. It's going to be very chill. It's going to be very chatty and just like literally us just walking around. Yeah. But if you do like this and you do want to see some more, mm. then I'm sure we can. We yeah, can... we can do like different categories of yeah. things. So that's the plan for the video today. I'm very excited. I am very aware that it is like summer holidays, the loveliest weather today. So it's going to be incredibly busy in town. And I'm not very so... good at filming in busy spaces, am I? I get really- You're not bad at it. I You're get just really a bit shy. Open. Yours might just be like under <laughs> an under angle. Prepare for the double chins in mine. Yeah, it might no, be no. very busy for us to walk around. Um, and also just mindful of getting other people in. Like, you yeah. just don't know if people want to be in the background of stuff, but it is Also, hard. I don't know about filming in shops. We'll have to be careful. Oh, that's my worst. I'm such a rule follower. Be it, if you get told off- We're going to do what we shop, can. No, That's no. my worst. No. That's my worst. I crumble and then I'm like, no, nah, I can't do it anymore. <laughs> Alfie, does, Alfie doesn't care about stuff like that. He's like, oh yeah, sure, no worries. I'm like, Ugh. Zoe's mum's currently got Otty today, so he'd be like, where's Otty? Why isn't she in, the, like, in the, this bit of the video? Going around to our five each favourite spots with Otty would not be feasible. It's a different video. That that's, would that's not be feasible. Oh, or we could do a separate like child-friendly writing yes. spots. That'd be a good one. That would be good. I want to also kick off this vlog. I haven't had a coffee yet, but I'm aware that I'm about to drink a lot of coffee. Um, you don't need a coffee now. Yeah. No, Alf. Yeah, yeah. I haven't had one this morning. I just need one. Just one little. We're about to go to coffee to like five coffee shops. Yeah, yeah. But I just want one little, just to drink in the car. Okay. But what I wanted to see is honestly in the mornings at the moment, as you might have seen in the vlogs. Otty's favourite thing to do is help me make my morning coffee. And as soon as I literally start 
Like she hears like the jingle on the coffee bag and she's like running over. So I wanted to see in the vlog. Oh, you're making me do it. Does Zoe know how to make me a coffee? I'm not gonna help you at all, you have to make me a coffee. You're not gonna help me at all. Like if I was, imagine I was like, oh, I'm ill in bed, I just need a coffee. Can you just do your best? I think I remember how you did I it. I wanna see if you know. Can I go to the toilet first? I really need a wee. No, unfortunately <laughs> you can't. <laughs> Oh guys, if you could see my camera right now, let me show you. It is literally hanging on. Can you see all the sellotape here? And sellotape all under there to keep this screen up. I should probably get ordering a new one. Also just thought now, I'm gonna put the list of places that we end up going today in the description. So that if you're ever in Brighton or on the way to Brighton and you're like, ah, oh, I remember after we uploaded that video once that I saw that had some bits, you don't obviously have to watch the whole video back. That'd be a mesh. I'll leave the names of each places down below and like what kind of bits they do. Just like a little bit of a description. Are these the beans you're currently doing? Yeah, let's go for these. So this obviously the old future What's self your beans. Setup for? These here are some beans that my friend Jesse bought me over from Australia. Absolutely delicious. For everybody watching this from Australia, this is my first Australian coffee I've ever tried. And it is unbelievable. Setup is currently set up for these beans. Yeah. Okay. So I think you do 20 grams. Shall I tell you the grammage that I've dialed in? Yes. Is it 20? Just so it makes that easier. 18 and a half. Oh, blimey. I would never have known that. See, how am I supposed to ever make Yeah, that? well, it's just you basically dial it in yourself, so you wouldn't ever know that. That's why I've given you that bit you of info. Write it on the bag. So I know if I was to make you a coffee, oops, or make somebody else a coffee, at least I know. Know how many grams? Yeah. Then I think, pop it in here. There, put that on. And you always go. Oh, I was gonna see if you did that. <laughs> Why do you do that? Just tap out any like little excess. What, into here? Yeah. Okay. Then, you go like this. Oh, you need to flip it upside down as well. Give it a little tap tap. And it's in. Then, you do this. No, you do, where's your little, this. Just get that in there. Then you do this. Then you do this. Have oh, I done something the wrong way? <laughs> Do you do this first, then the other one? No, you do whatever you, whatever you think. I feel like you don't push it down until that's done, though. I'll well, just do this again one more time. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Can I give you one tip? Because it's just hurting my heart. What? Please. Please. Just one thing. You need to take this off. Oh, okay. Oh, that's better. Oh, yeah. You can feel the difference. Cool. You're pushing him in, aren't you? Okay, now I do have to put this back on. No? What do you have it for then? What's this for? You don't use it. <laughs> I'm gonna go with this one. Does it go under there? Does it come out there? <laughs> <laughs> Where does it come out here? This in. How hard did you go like yeah, that? Yeah, that's good, yeah. And then you just put this under here. I need my phone to time. I'm gonna say 30 seconds. So what are you... Oh, you've got your calculator up for a timer. <laughs> 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 I, I was like, oh, how are you gonna, how are you gonna be timing there? Um... That's literally coming out perfect. Like, perfect. Did I do it right though, or do you time it from when it starts coming out? Or no, that is literally it? perfect. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. This is now the milk. A solid milk choice, whole milk. Yeah. It's better for latte art. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know whether you hold it to the side or if you actually hold it down. Just do whatever you think. <laughs> oh, the little taps. Yeah, no, you've got to do that. Milk looks really good. I don't know when you're supposed to do latte art. You're supposed to do it now. When do you do it? There's no, there's no art. 
There's no art to be had. Oh, some, there's a little bit. There's a, some dots. There's a little bit. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> nice. It's um, marbled. It's the night sky. It's all in the taste anyway. Isn't oh, it? it's all about the taste. Yeah. Now it's the, the big moment. Legit, this is going to be delicious. You just did so good. Yeah, it's great. Is it? That's great. Out of ten. Maybe like an eight and a half. Ooh. Okay. I'll take mm. that. Right, I'm gonna pour it in here, and then oh, yeah. we can, then we can get head, head to in town. a minute. I need to go and put some lip product on. Actually, oh, whilst you do that, I'm gonna save this from the car. Let me show you a little something before we pop into town. I want to bring you over to the TV to chat to you and show you a new gadget that Zoe and I have got, a new piece of tech that has recently been released by Sky, which is up here on the top of our TV. This is called Sky Live. As I'm sure you know, over the last couple of years, I've been working with Sky, and this blog today is sponsored by Sky, which means that I get to chat to you and show you the new Sky Live. There's four main things you can do. You can video call, you can watch together, you can play, and you can even work out. The video calling is powered by Zoom, and it's really cool having like a video chat on the big screen because often I'm either like using my phone or I'm using a laptop. Having it on the big screen makes all the difference. It's actually so sick. And the Skylive camera has this auto tracking. So if I was to walk around the room, it like crops in and follows me around the room. And then if Zoe was to walk in the room and join, it would zoom out so that we're both in shot. It like auto knows where exactly you are or how many people there are and keeps all of you perfectly in shot. It's really cool. And obviously because it's powered via Zoom, you can video call anybody. So you can just send a Zoom link. You don't have to have Skylive to be able to get involved in the video call. You can just join like a work meeting, which is literally what Zoe and I did the other day. Watch together. This is my favorite feature. I'm absolutely obsessed. I cannot wait till just like more friends and family have got, uh, and when I say family, I'm calling that popping short because my parents have got Skylive as well. I can't wait for more people around me to have Sky Live because the Watch Together feature is so good. Like, it is just so game changing. You can watch the widest range of content synchronized whilst on video on the side. And I did this last night with my parents, so I'll insert some clips now. And you're watching those shows or films or movies or whatever it is together with your family, with your friends. Have you guys got any snacks? I've got a little bowl of blueberries with me. Although I've nearly finished them, we haven't even started the film yet. You want popcorn? <laughs> you were you were spotted. Mum goes to sleep while I'm watching the film. <laughs> <laughs> we're we're going to be watching it, and I'm just going to see Mum in the background going. What is it you want? I just love the fact that it enables you to like watch a movie with a friend, but even if you can't physically be together. So, like for example, Zoe and Mark watched a film together the other night. Obviously, we don't live close to each other, but they both just jumped on, watched a film together. Obviously, if one of them was to pause it, then it pauses it for both of you, so you're not like missing anything. It's like fully synchronized, it's so cool. And then you've got Skylive Play, which is like hands-free, immersive games for the whole family. And you can either be all in front of one Skylive, so I could have like a couple of people over here, and we're all playing the games on my TV, or you can connect via video call, and you can play games with other people that have also got Sky Live. There's so many different games available, so many different kinds of games available, and it tracks your whole body, like the camera is tracking you via gesture control, so whatever you're doing with your body, it's tracking all of your movements, and it's just a bit of fun. A bit of fun with the family. And the last feature is Workout, which I haven't actually tried yet. I'm so excited to do so. It gives you personalized like digital feedback. So when you're doing like a squat or a lift or whatever it might be, Obviously, it's tracking your whole body via the camera to know your positioning as to if you're doing that in the right way to be able to help you get the best out of your reps. There are so many different kinds of workouts to keep you motivated. I feel like in my life right now, it's so fitting because, as you know, I feel like I say it again and again, I'm trying to get in the best shape of my life for my 30th birthday. In fact, I'm not trying, it's happening. I've got like under a month left. This literally couldn't be more fitting. This is what I need to add in. Definitely go check it out. I'll leave a link down below and I'm sure throughout the blogs you will see all of it in motion, being used, how we use it and everything like that. Such a cool piece of tech. This is my um, practice run of walking through the lanes. So guys, you can follow me like this. So we're currently in the north lanes, as you can see. Beautiful little spot. <laughs> You know when presenters walk and talk. Walk backwards. Anna did that in her new video. I watched it. Did you see? In her kitchen. She was like, oh, look, follow me around backwards. I just have a mic. A clip on mic. Oh, yeah. Cool. Currently sat in the car with our phones out. 
mapping out the order in which we're stopping at places on the way through the north lanes in a minute. Also, I've just written down all of the places that I want to go. And a minute ago, I was Do like, you know oh, technically there's not. five, my five favorite places. So far, I've got seven on the list. So it's probably not going to be five. Actually, I think I've got eight. So busy. It's <laughs> so busy. <laughs> right, so this here is officially the, the start of the north lanes from the side, this, from the southern side near the sea. So Zoe and I are going to walk through the north lanes all of this way until the end, and then obviously stop off at every hot spot. Stop number one of the video. This is Flint Out Bakery. The original one was in Lewis, which is one of our absolute favourite places to It's go. still there. It's still there. Some good sweet treats, not gonna lie. Look at these. Their cakes are exceptional. Quite late. Thank you so much. Is that a goodie? A <laughs> yeah. This looks unreal. I've never actually had this from here before. We usually go with, but I'm guessing they've sold out, a bacon and brie baguette. With sweet chili so sauce. Good. Yeah, with sweet chili. I'm going to pop this in my bag. I feel like I'm just going to build up. <laughs> yeah. Next up here is a spot called Pompoco. This is an absolute must go to for like a quick little lunch and you're like sit on the park around the corner in the grass or something with your friends or take it down to the beach. So good. The only one thing, watch out, is <laughs> get hit by a car, is that it's cash only. So make sure you've got cash with you. Yeah. Got your order number. Number nine. <laughs> it's funny. If you I think she said number like six, actually. Oh, it's six. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's funny if you film it. I feel like I'm like presenting <laughs> rather than vlogging. Got He's goods. got the goods. Let's see, what so did you order? Like, it's like a little five minute wait for you to your food here. Obviously in this video, I'm not gonna be eating everything that we purchased. <laughs> like I've already got a chicken burger in my bag. I'm definitely gonna eat that today when I get home or maybe tomorrow. I wanna make sure I'm purchasing somewhere in most shops, obviously. Otherwise, I can't properly recommend it and show you what, what you're gonna get if you come. So this here is the fried chicken curry. And I kind of see it as like a twist on a chicken katsu curry. It's very similar. So good. And it's also really, really reasonably priced here as well. And that's a good portion. That's the kind of thing that me and my friends would always just like, if we You around, always go and sit in the park and yeah, eat it. Yeah, like that's the kind of thing you just take to the beach, you go and sit in the park. You can sit in, I don't think I've ever sat in though. And then as a little side, just you just have to get these. But like you have to. I don't know anywhere else that does them as good as here. These are edamame spring rolls. One for me and one for you. And dipping it in that. Whoa, it's hot. You're going in. Freshly cooked. That is going to burn your mouth. Oh, that's hot. <laughs> Oh, it's so hot. They just know what they're doing here. I feel like it's such a simple setup and they just do it so well. Like, it's so good. <laughs> Honourable mention, I'm not going to go in and buy food. Oh, oh how's it going? Yeah, of course. On. Right, I'm not going to get any food from here. But, idea, unbelievable vegetarian food if you're veggie. It is or, good. If you're not veggie, just quick food as well. <laughs> but it just happens to be vegetarian. How are we doing? I mean, this bit's uphill, so ask me in five minutes. <laughs> it's also very hot and it's very busy, but the next stop off is a place called The Pond, which is actually a pub, but the food, I mean, the drinks I'm sure are great as well, but the food in particular is so good. The kitchen is run by Baby Bao, it and it's just the Bayo? most. Because I heard someone say Bayo the other day. Oh, maybe it's Bayo. I've know. always said Bao. Like a I Bao bun. A Bayo bun. Bayo bun. or Bao bun. So that's where we're going next to grab some Bao buns. Bao buns. Or Bayo some buns. chips. Just all the good stuff. Another little presenty shop when walking in. <laughs> We've gone for a lot. A lot of different things. We've got some kimchi cheese chips, pork belly, katsu salmon. Oh. Cauliflower. cauliflower and some calamari. Nice. It's like the three bits for like you and your mates to get some drinks and just get a load of food to the table and just share everything. It's so good. Delish. Delish. 
Great pit stop. Nice buffalo. little break as well. Nice to have a little sit down. These buffalo cauliflowers. Oh my god. It's so good. We've also taken away in some little pots the bits that we couldn't finish. We've now finished up the bulk of the food. We've got one more spot that we've actually just ordered at. And I said that I'm going to come back in 10 minutes and go pick it up. We're now on to coffee. And I'm aware that I'm about to hit like three, I think three coffee shops back to back. So I need to be careful of how much I'm consuming. Otherwise I'm going to be awake all night. This first spot here, coffee at 33, is probably one of the busiest coffee shops I ever see in Brighton. The locals absolutely love it. It's so simple, but so good. I thought it was shut then for a second. Oh no, is it closed? Yeah, it's closed. Ah, it closes at three. What's the time? 3.30. <laughs> okay, I'm still gonna put it in there because it is just a banger. You're just gonna have to trust me. Delicious coffee, very nice, clean, little, simple seating. It's a very good spot, definitely check it out. Louis, coffee at, least that's at 33. One less coffee that you're drinking right now. <laughs> I know, but I could. I could do one from there. It's just lovely coffee. Let's get the halloumi back with the This is from a place called We Love Falafel. Every time you order from there, you do have to wait a good 10 minutes for your food to be cooked. Depending on how busy it is. Maybe even 20 minutes sometimes. And it's always worth it. Like, so worth it. It's absolutely delicious. The quantity and the size of the falafel wraps, unbeaten. This one's actually for Zoe. Yeah, that's for me, that one. <laughs> you went for a... Halloumi. Oh, no. Halloumi falafel, falafel wrap, yeah. Did you I ask for hummus? The hummus. The hummus isn't one. Hummus is just in all of them. <laughs> that's probably why he looked at me strange. Oh. Ah. <laughs> we'll see when we get home. I'll cut it open. I usually go for what's called the falafel melt wrap. It's got like melted cheese. It's, it's they, so they make the falafel there fresh every day. Yeah. So it's, it's a so busy, like so busy. I filmed this spot maybe about two months ago when they first opened up. I think it was like the second day open or something. Absolutely love it. It's called Dandy. The guy in there who runs it, Rory. Super lovely. And yeah, I feel like Brighton's all about supporting local, supporting small businesses. This is the complete definition of that. It's literally just opened a few months ago. Love it. Love. Also, they've opened up the downstairs. I haven't been downstairs yet. Ooh. I'm going to make you a filter this time. Lovely, okay. It's going to be incredible. Okay, leave it with me. Leave it with me. It's so cozy down here. Oh, it is so cozy. It smells great as well. This feels like a little hidden spot. I don't feel like I'm in the lanes. Because this is not like crazy, crazy like thank you it's just a really good portable thing delicious little pour over little fruity number and zoe went for hazelnut iced chocolate is it good delicious yeah last on the visiting order but by no means least is a lovely coffee shop that you might have seen a future self coffee campaign that was shot in here is a coffee shop called loam beautiful coffee the most amazing like sweet treats. sweet treats ever. I'm pretty sure they bake them all in there every morning. And they have some nice little bits for sale too. And it's the tiniest bit off of like one of the busiest roads called Sydney Street. And just that like 20 foot difference makes it super nice and peaceful. So this is it here, Loam. And then literally just there, as you can see, is super, super busy. But that difference here just keeps it so nice and chilled. This is some of the best coffee packaging that is I've genius. ever seen. That's so cool. It's just such a lovely spot in here. This is possibly the worst lighting, <laughs> but the sun just is got like in the car now. In Actually, it's not too bad. No, we just got like big shadows across us and stuff. Yeah. Anyways, we finished up in town. I hope you enjoyed the little slight switch up to the normal vlogs. I feel like we've just spent the afternoon mooching, mooching, I but in that. our favourite places yeah. as well, which is just so lovely to do. Um, obviously, we filmed Zoe's video, as I said as well. So, the amount that you've seen in this, 
we've done double because we also went to all of Zoe's favorite spots as well. The one thing that we didn't show that I said we would was the flannel. And I'm hungry, so I'm going in. I'm tucking in, guys. Is it halloumi or is it just hummus? <laughs> We're about to find out. I think I messed up. I think I said no, hummus. No, I'm sure you said halloumi. No, because... I filmed it, so we'll see what you said. Oh yeah, they'll already know. Halloumi. Oh, it is halloumi. Mm -hmm. Because it's a halloumi wrap, so it's like, do you want falafel too or just halloumi? Ah, see, I thought I said hummus. Mm. Which you could you could do a hummus wrap. No. You no. fool. <laughs> oh, I was like, I uh, I'm done. I'm I can't do anymore. I'm also just drinking this mammoth drink that we've just got in Zoe's video. You can go and check that out. Right, should we head? Yeah. Shall we go home? It's Let's currently two minutes past five. Today has gone rapid. It's not often, you haven't got your seatbelt on. It's not often that Zoe and I get to spend like such a big chunk of time together in town, just like really chill, moseying around. And it's just and been so fun. enjoyable. Yeah, it was really nice. Right. Really, really nice. And also we were so lucky with the weather today because me and Mark, yesterday oh, yeah. got rained on big time so it was nice it was vibey it was like everything i love about brighton everything i love about the lanes like people sat outside eating and like people sat outside drinking in the pubs and people like, dressed for summer yeah it was nice and everyone was so lovely that said hi as well yeah we met so many of you every time zoe and i come to town together it literally highlights to me of just like just how many people watch these videos because obviously when it's like numbers on a screen, you don't really like, you can't I don't really think about it, it as like no. real people. And then coming out like together is just busy. <laughs> it's busy. It's nice. Lots of people saying hi. Yeah, All right. right. Let's get ahead. Of the vlog's not over. I'm still going to like carry on vlogging <laughs> yeah. today. Let's go home. This, this like main let's put chunk. put the aircon on, please. <laughs> yeah, let's get the aircon on. <laughs> Typical, I literally said the last clips in this vlog. Oh yeah, don't worry, I'm just gonna carry on the vlog when we get home. Completely forgot to carry on the vlog, obviously like played with Otty for a bit, did dinner time, put Otty to bed. And then I realized that obviously I've got to edit this video, also Zoe's video, both last night to be able to get them ready to go up today, which is when I'm filming this. So I didn't carry on the vlog, but it's already a mammoth vlog as it is. It's like half an hour or nearly half an hour. Yeah, so I'm just jumping in and ending it off now. I've just gone through the comments on my last video to get a question because at the end of every vlog, I sit down and I answer a question that was left on my previous video I've just picked. And the question was, what is one thing that you wanna do that you wanna accomplish? It did actually say for your future self and it said no pun intended in the next five years. And it was super easy. Like, I was just having to think now whilst I was coming upstairs. I was like, oh, I really want to do this with a family. I really want to do this with Zoe, obviously baby number two. And then I was like, actually, no, what do I want to do? Like Alfie days, not Alfie the dad, not Alfie the partner, just me as an individual. What do I want to do in the next like five years for me? And I think the answer is some kind of fitness challenge. I don't know what that would be, or what that looks like, or what even kind of fitness it is. Definitely not a marathon, I'm not into running. But a couple of years ago when I did that 10 day charity kayak, I kayaked the length of the River Thames over the course of 10 days and raised like a bunch of money for charity. Just had the best time, like physically, mentally, meeting new people, raising a bunch of awareness and money for charity. Like it was amazing. And I feel like in the next five years I wanna do like an even bigger elevated version of that or a couple of other versions of that, whether it's like an extremely long difficult cycle or another kayak or a mountain. I feel like I could be potentially up for climbing like a big mountain that takes like, I don't know, like a Kilimanjaro it takes what, like five days or something to do. Yeah, I don't know what it looks like, but there's something in me when I think about it that is like some physical, hard challenge, maybe it's not an Ironman or anything like competitive like that, but just more, yeah, like a big charity fitness, really difficult to accomplish thing. Probably not the best answer because it's not much of an answer, but I know there's something there. And over the next five years, I feel like I can definitely do something. I can get all of you involved. We can raise a bunch of awareness, a bunch of money. And I feel like that's just something that I'll really, really enjoy doing. So I think that's like my personal goal over the next five years or one of them. It'd be great to know in the comments down below. What is something that you want to accomplish in the next five years? 
Again, as always, there is no right answer. There's no wrong answer. Whether it is like getting a new job, starting a new business, renovating your garden, purchasing your first property, starting a family, whatever it is, I'd love to know in the comments down below. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not already. It was a little bit of a different kind of video, but I feel like it's a really nice one. And I hope that a lot of people that watch these videos will all go and support the local the local shops and restaurants and cafes and everything that Zoe and I put within the videos. And we like send a load of people through the lanes in Brighton after watching these. Let me know, let Zoe know if there's like a different style or different twist on this video that you want to see, whether it be like best restaurants in Brighton or activities to do or family activities to do. Let me know down below in the comments and I will see you Sunday with another new video. Appreciate you watching.